taking a cue from the music there. Tell me, y'all both are, are uh, from LaGrange. You both are obviously moved through yourselves, but also through your kids, involved in a lot of athletic activities, a lot of recreational activities in the community. How do you see the value added from the thread and the trail system throughout the city of LaGrange? I think it's just an ease of access for those who might not have the opportunity to buy membership at a gym, or join any kind of sports club, you can do those activities on the thread and train up for those sports. And Brock, I wasn't said in the bio, but you also are a coach. So tell me what you see as the value of getting kids out of their house, away from their computer screens, their iPads, their telephones, getting them out in nature and on trails. So I think the biggest thing is just being active. Uh, the thread gets you all the way through the town of the Grange, so. I think it's really good to get them out in, in, the, in the community. Yeah. So growing up in LaGrange, growing up in LaGrange, um, tell me, tell me, do you see the transformation taking place with some of these recreational amenities, some of the things that the thread has spurred at the Grove and Hillside, at the, at the downtown events that, that are connected to the thread? So when we were growing up, there weren't many opportunities for us. And if there were opportunities, we saw them shut down while we were growing up. Um, so for us to have this opportunity and it not being a shutdown, but more of a building and a growth is something that we want and we're excited for our kids to have the opportunity to grow up and see when we were seeing more of the closing of things and not the growth. So I'm glad that our children can witness that here in LaGrange. It's an exciting time, exciting time to be involved. And y'all wanted to come out and support 
the thread tonight. Now, Brock, are you? Do you have a dancing background, or was this was this something? Was this something new? To you? you obviously have an athletic background, but was dancing something new? To you? Very new. <laughs> Did you have fun doing it? I enjoyed it. Yes. Okay. You you brought a smile to these folks' faces tonight. They enjoyed it, didn't you? Didn't you enjoy what they did on stage? So our competition is almost concluded, but it's not over yet. You've seen all the couples, but there's still plenty of time to vote. We're going to now turn to our judges and see what they thought about this fourth and final routine of the evening and then we'll keep the voting open for a few more minutes. We're gonna to come to our judges and we're gonna start with Violet. Listen, Brock, I love that you started your personality from the beginning and you saw that character development play. I also like how, as a coach, you brought that into your dance or this dance. Uh, it's a nine for me. Nine! I enjoy, I enjoy also to see that you, like he said, he mentioned that you, do it both things, sport and dance, and I know it's the first time for you, but I like it. Yes, it's safe. Eight. All right. Eight. Nine, eight. Let's come to Caroline for the final score. That was really fun, and I, I really enjoyed the concept, and there were some really hard tricks in there. The back walk over, that was incredible, and I really felt that connection between you two. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. Great scores, great scores. The competition's not over yet. Half of our competition is based on our judges' scores, half based on their votes. Join me in thanking once again Liz and Brock for supporting the thread tonight.